I'm Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture at Canada's Farm Progress Show here in Regina, joined by Ian Picruel with Pattison Liquid Systems. And Ian, this sprayer behind uh, us, obviously there's no power unit on it. That's because that's uh, that task belongs to the, the DOT power platform. Can you fill us in on what the plan is for, uh, for this Connect unit? Uh, this Connect unit we have here is the Connect PLU S120. That's Pattison Liquid Unmanned, and that's our sprayer, 120 feet. Uh, yeah, right now it's sitting on the transport trailer, as you can see. That's the black portion, and it actually will remove from that, get set down, and it will be picked up by the DOT implement. And moving forward, it will be doing autonomous spraying in the fields. So we'll be starting testing next week. Next week, okay. So I was going to ask, have you had it on the dot already? Uh, yeah, last week we had it on the dot when we brought it up for the show. We were out at Seedmaster for a day there and we put it on and fits perfect. So, okay. yeah. so where do you see uh, demand for this sort of application, spraying with, autonomously with the, the dot power platform? Uh, kind of everywhere in farming. It uh, allows the farmer a lot just to relax and uh, complete other tasks while spraying is being done. And It can run 24 hours. It uh, removes human error. So there's no getting tired in the cab or anything like that. There's, it can do its own thing. So, okay. so is the the automation, the software advanced to, to do spraying as a as a task autonomously? Uh, yeah, Dot and uh, Raven are working together with that. They are completing the yeah the GPS portion of that. Mm -hmm. We have a 1600 US gallon stainless steel tank, 120 foot aluminum booms. We run Hawkeye with uh, turn comp and individual nozzle control, and it's uh, pulsating. And then we have recirculating booms, which is, allows us to have more equalized pressure throughout the booms. And uh, with that, we can do a rinse cycle. And the rinse cycle allows us to, when you're, com when you're ending a field, it will rinse out the tank at the end of your last run and uh, spray out it over a reduced rate on the headlands so that it is clean for the next field when it returns to the approach. Okay, and it can do this autonomously? Yep, everything's done autonomously. After the field's mapped, you can hit go and let it do its thing. Are there, maybe putting you on the spot here, are there regulatory issues when it comes to spraying autonomously or is that something that, uh, that we're ready for? Um, not really regulatory issues. Uh, the only issue is transport down the roads right now with uh, insurance and stuff. It's not legal to drive the dot itself autonomously down the, down the roads, but other than that, uh, everything is okay. Okay. What is the timeline for bringing this to market? Uh, bringing to market, we're kind of unsure yet. This is our first prototype, so we're still in early stages. Okay. Yeah. And I hear Pattison might be working on another implement for the DOT platform? Yeah, uh, hopefully we're working on a 40-foot coulter for mineral banding and fall application. So uh, hopefully that'll be ready on display at Egg in Motion. All right. So you can have a look at that. It won't be functioning yet, but be able to look at it. All right. We'll look forward to that. Thanks for your time, Ian. Thank you very much.